the man himself, I presume. Just as handsome as in his portrait, though perhaps a little less formally attired. <gasps> we must leave here at once. Of course, if you wish. Oh, I wish we'd never come. What must he think of me? Was he displeased? What did he say? Oh, nothing of consequence. He inquired after my parents and... Miss Bennett, please allow me to apologize for not receiving it properly just now. You were not leaving. We were, sir. I think we must. I hope you're not displeased with Pemberley. No, not at all. Then you approve of it? Very much. I think there are few who would not approve. But your good opinion is rarely bestowed and therefore more worth the earning. Thank you. Would you do me the honour of introducing me to your friends? Certainly. Mr and Mrs Edward Gardner, Mr Darcy. Mrs Gardner is my aunt, Mr Darcy. My sister Jane stayed at their house in Cheapside when she was lately in London. Delighted to make your acquaintance, madam. Delighted, sir. You're staying in Lambton, I hear. Yes, sir. I grew up there as a girl. Delightful village. I remember running from Pemberley to Lambton as a boy almost every day in the horse chestnut season. There was one very fine tree there, I remember. On the green, by the smithy. The very one. <gasps> Mr. Gardiner, do you care for fishing? Indeed I do, sir, when I get the chance of it. And if you have time, sir, you must come and fish in my trout stream. Or there are carp, tench and pike in the lake here if your bent runs to course fishing. I shall be happy to provide you with rods and tackle, show you the best spots. But let us walk down now. Now follow us to the lake, my man will show you. There's a place down there where we used to fish in the mountains. Is the proud Darcy you told us of? He is all ease and friendliness, no false dignity at all. I'm as astonished as you are. I can't imagine what has affected this transformation. Can you not? say again, sir, how very unexpected your arrival was. If we had known you were to be here, we should not have dreamt of invading your privacy. The housekeeper assured us you would not be here until tomorrow. I beg you do not make yourself uneasy. I had planned it so myself, but I found I had business with my steward and so rode on ahead of the rest of the party without informing anyone. They will join me tomorrow. And among them are those who claim an acquaintance with you. Uh, Bingley and his sisters. Oh. There's the other person in the party who more particularly wishes to know you. Would you allow me to... <clears throat> Do I ask too much to introduce my sister to you during your stay at Lambton? I should be very happy to make her acquaintance. Thank you. Thank you. I hope we shall meet again very soon. Good day, Mr. Gardner. Mrs. Gardner. Good day, Miss Bennett. 